welcome to HOS technologies here we are demonstrating baby safety system so to implement this system we have used three different kind of sensors one is, one is mic condenser to to detect the baby cry and uh, temperature sensor in order to detect the surrounding temperature and motion sensor so it's a PIR motion sensor these three sensors are uh, interfaced to the uh, Beagle bone black and the Beagle bone uh, will decode the information and based on the conditions given by us it will send a message alert to the uh, parent so here uh, initially we need to insert a valid sim card in this GSM modem so here we are using the sim 800 which is a quad band okay insert the valid sim card and give the supply to this GSM modem supply and here the green LED will on hold this power button here the power button is there hold this power button till the green light off so it will be off and now this blue light will blinks so the blinking rate of this blue light is at a duration of one second so after the GSM modem got the signal the blue light will blinks three seconds right it is at a duration of 3 seconds now it's blinking means it got the signal for the reconfirmation you can make a call to this sim card so you'll get the ring and uh, afterwards connect a LAN cable to the beagle blown and uh, the LAN cable and our laptop should be in same network so we connected the laptop through Wi-Fi and beagle bone through the LAN cable and give the supply from here to the beagle bone so I'm giving the supply so here you can see the status of LEDs okay so the four LEDs will on first and then after the first LED is the heartbeat and the last LED is the processing LED okay so after around three to four seconds check the beagle bone connection status in your router connections router settings here uh, in order to get the IP address so we'll get the beagle bone uh, this thing and close that and uh, go to this uh, router IP address and go to the client list in order to get the beagle bone IP address so here in my case I got the IP address of 192.168.0.104 okay and now go to putty software and just type the same IP address 192.168.0.104 and port number don't change it should be a 22 only and now open so he will ask for the login as root R O O T R O O T is a root and then it will not ask for any password and just here so in order to if you want to change the phone number to which phone number you need to send the alerts so just type sudo space sudo space nano number dot txt so here in this file i stored the number sudo nano number dot txt and open this you will get the number so just type the number don't uh, in the end don't type any enter or anything just type the number so if you want you can change the number also and then control x so if you change the number so for example I change the number I modify the number so after this modification control X it will ask for the SR no enter Y and enter so now the number has been saved and now and the next in order to run the project just type SH space launcher L A N C H R mind the spelling this I mentioned the spelling as L A N C H R dot S H that's it so it will going on the execution so we'll get the right the LED the green LED will blink here and the blue light is blinking here so now the process is going up you can see the status in the terminal also okay and now the execution so initially I'll go with the sound sensor mic condenser so 
further i need to make the audio make a new subject sound sensor and coming to the temperature sensor so you can change the sound intensity level by changing this pot slightly we need to change that if you rotate this clockwise the sensitivity will be more anti-clockwise it should be less and here i'm showing this uh, temperature using the right right so the two lights this is the temperature and operation here also you can see the, the high temperature Coming to the motion. Any motion occurred? Okay. So I got the message. Motion detector, please check. Okay. So after this, the execution is over. You can normally just disconnect the power supply to this uh, bagel board so like this. Right? And you can discard the power supply to the GSM one. Thank you.